Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a very quick video just to show you guys the resources that I think are the best for paper 2 and paper 3 for the maths GCC paper. So these two resources that I'm going to be showing you today are amazing because they have split up their uh, information for the particular exam boards and I don't want to mislead anyone by giving them the wrong information for their exam boards so these two resources are amazing and I, there's no need for me to reinvent the wheel I don't need to go and do the research myself but I do know of these two websites and I know students don't know about them they hopefully I'm giving you these resources and um, totally free and totally available for you to go and download and use so there's exactly, I believe, seven days left until paper two. Uh, paper two is on the 6th of June. So yeah, there's about yeah seven days left. To revise for maths, uh, really the only way is by practicing past papers. Two resources that I'm going to show you today have predicted papers based on the paper one. What they've done is they've looked at paper one, they've looked at the topics that came up in paper one, and they said, well, these topics came up in paper one, these ones didn't. So they kind of predicted what may come up in paper two and paper three. Now huge disclaimer predicted papers are predictions they are not accurate these people these blogs these websites do not have any inside information from exam boards at all they do not know what might come up do not think that a topic came up in paper one so therefore it's not going to come in paper two rather actually what happens is topics are in both papers but there are topics that are probably more likely to come up in a calculator than a non-calculator so something like trig for example is more likely to come up in a calculator paper obviously because you need calculators to work out sine cos and tan whereas it probably won't come up in a non-calculator paper I hope that you find this useful I hope that you just get some resources there's no point in me sitting here and telling you the topics I might I just, I'm just wasting your time I'd rather you went and looked at the resources that I sent you and actually downloaded them and tried to work them out for yourself so the first resource is this blog called just maths and I believe it was started by two teachers or two or three teachers I think um, who just wanted to share their resources I it actually it's actually quite hard to get to so I had to search quite a bit to get to this page so like I said I doubt that any students actually know about this this website and what they've done is they've split it up into different exam boards so you can see here Ed Excel, and if you go down you can see AQA and then you've got OCR as well so it should be able to you know give all of you guys the right information they've said topics that haven't yet made an appearance after Ed Excel summer 2019 paper one so they've looked at paper one and they've looked at what papers what topics did come up and these are the topics that didn't come up so they've looked at the foundations so foundation topics then they looked at the crossover topics, so the topics that are um, sort of in between both high and foundation, so both papers have these topics in them. And then the topics um, that are higher tier only, so things like recurring decimals, so converting recurring decimals to fractions, definitely something that um, you should be able to do on a calculator paper. Um, bounds is a big one as well, using the quadratic formula, I think that's a huge one for a calculator paper, so you should definitely be able to, to do that really well. Um, histograms, yep, again, know that the area of the bar is uh, the frequency, so that's again a really important one, and like I said earlier, sine cos, so trigonometry, um, and things like that. But don't forget that anything that came up in paper one could come up in paper two again, so really don't limit yourself to only revising these topics, go over everything. But this is a good start for those that don't quite know what to do. Yes, yeah, so they said that. They said that um, the intention is to provide you with something to focus on. So yeah, it's just something to help you focus. And then as you can see, when you go down, you see that there are the papers here. So the topic list is there if you want to print it out and take a look at it and keep it on your desk. And then you've got the papers. So what they have is a bumper practice paper. So this first set of paper, these two sets of papers, they're suitable for both higher and foundation. So they will include a lot of foundation topics that higher don't include. But it is important for higher to practice that as well. So I would say to do the bumper practice paper as well. And then if you go down below, you can see that you have the higher tier only paper. So that would be topics that um, are only on the higher curriculum. So if you are a foundation student, then I would say do only the bumper practice paper for higher and foundation. But if you are a higher student, I would say to do both of them. A lot of the time, really high achieving students stumble on very easy marks. So it's not a bad thing to spend time practicing easy questions. I think it's actually quite the contrary, it's a really good thing. And then if you go down below, you see some more papers from another teacher um, in a different school. And again, you've got loads of 
higher paper two and foundation paper two based on what came up in paper one. Um, so again, as they say here, to revise maths, you just have to do maths and that's literally it. So this is a, probably a good way to introduce some new content for you. And then for AQA, exactly the same. The topics are quite similar, I would say, but just stick to your example just in case it's something that doesn't come up in one example and does come up in the other. And the same with OCR, there isn't as much. The OCR papers are coming soon, so keep an eye out if you are OCR. But I think the majority of people probably are AQA in it. The second one is this website called Corbett Maths. Again, it's an amazing blog. It started off as just a, you know, a casual blog by a teacher who probably thought, oh, I just want to get my resources out there. You probably, if you're a student, might have seen some of these resources in your classroom but didn't know that it came from here. Um, again, it's a, a blog that mostly teachers use, not necessarily students, so hopefully I'm introducing you to some like insider secrets. OCR paper 2, 3, 5 and 6, based on those that haven't come up in paper 1 or he said here that usually have a higher profile. There are three papers for AQA and for, for Edexcel, so it's very, very likely that in paper 3, topics from paper one and paper two will come up again for sure 100 percent so again make sure you revise everything don't just think i've got this list i have to just stick to this list revise everything for the higher so what you've got here is you've got the higher um paper two three unseen topic checklist so that's a checklist of topics that haven't come up and then you've got some questions you've got loads of questions 87 questions that's a lot and then I think you also have um, some answers as well. You also have videos to help you. So let's say you were really stuck on histograms and you're like, you know what, I just need a quick recap. I need someone to tell me quickly what it is. I know it's half term right now. You probably have study leave, so you might not be seeing your teachers as much as often as you probably will before the exam. So you can always go in here. I think it's a great resource. Quickly teaches you what you need to know. Keep on moving. Um, and then at Excel, it's also here. So paper two or three unseen topic paper and then you've got the question and the answers all down here. So I hope that this is something that you haven't seen yet, I pr you probably haven't. Let me know in the comments down below if you haven't seen this paper because I really hope that this is giving you a bit of an insider. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, don't forget to uh, leave me a comment and let me know how your revision is going, how your exams have been going so far and what you'd like to see from my channel for the next couple of weeks from your exams. And um, yeah, good luck with rising and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!